Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another Yap session slash video. Just gonna be a quick one today. I don't know what the title is, but I want you guys to stop freaking out when you're setting or you're in sales. Like, I get a ton of people saying, I haven't made my first commission yet. I'm, I've been trying to look for a position for X amount of months now. I haven't made my first commission yet. I haven't made my first commission yet. I only made this much in commission. Guys, you need to relax. The fact you've already made your first commission that's already a very, very long way. You've already come so far to do that. The fact that you were able to go from no experience to knowing how to get people interested in you to hopping on interviews with potential business owners and then you getting a position and then you having to sift through all the leads and then you booking meetings and then those meetings converting and then them closing and then you make a commission. Like you've already come so far from people who are just at the beginning or right before you, okay? so. The ones who have already made the commission and are complaining about the commission, just stop. Because how you make a hundred bucks, almost the same way. You just do it over and over again. Just keep doing it over and over at scale. Have to more up your volume. Speak to more people. Better qualify your people. Book more calls. It's as simple as that, guys. Just keep feeding the beast with more volume and more activity, okay? But I see these people all the time on the timeline, especially on Twitter or Instagram or YouTube, or whatever saying that setting is a scam, remote sales is a scam, it's not the best, it's actually not the best business model to get into 2024, um, simply because you know you see these people who are complaining online about how they're not making commission or how they haven't landed a gig, how they've only made breadcrumbs for the effort that they're putting in. But let me put this into context, guys. Let's say you went and ran your own business. Wouldn't you agree that just, with, just like in business and entrepreneurship, You'll also have, if you're just starting out, let's take it in the context of you starting out from zero. Because it's only fair to compare it to if someone was starting out from zero and setting in sales. That's where most of the complaints are coming in, is in the beginning stages. But let's say when you start your own business, right? Let's compare it to that. Wouldn't you agree that there's also people, a good amount of people that go through hardship in business? Of course they do. Wouldn't you agree that it happens in the beginning too? Of course they do. Let's say it's an agency, SMMA. People are sending outreach, like people who are struggling, complaining they can't get their first client, their first client. There's so many people out there complaining about that. They can't get the first out, they can't get the first client. They're sending so many cold emails. They're fumbling so many sales calls. They're booking so many unqualified leads. There's just a lot going wrong in the beginning. So what makes you think that appointment setting in sales, you struggling with these things, you're no different to the other person. The other person who's running an SMA who's struggling to get their first client. The first, I mean, the e-com business owner, the e-com shop owner, the e-commerce store owner, uh, I'm losing my brain cells at this point. Those who do e-com, those who are trying to find their first winning product, they have to cycle through a bunch of products and lose money on their first failing products. They have to get their, sh their, their store up. They have to make sure it converts well, yada, yada. They go through hardship too in the beginning. They say with affiliate marketers, they have to find their first winning product too, their first winning service. The, the product, the traffic source, and all these little things that add up that have to line up for things to start flowing in, for money to start coming in, for things to start working out for them. They go through hardship too. Everyone in business, no matter the niche, the industry, they all are going through hardship. Let's even take OFM. Now, if you guys know what OFM is, then you know if you don't, look it up. It was an OFM. I don't know much about it. I don't really want to get, I don't plan to get involved in that industry. I don't really want to. Um, that's just my stance on it. But even for you guys in OFM, you have to go out there, find your first few models. You have to find a traffic source that works. You have to scale your team. In the beginning, I mean, scaling your team is like more on the advanced side when you've built yourself up, but um, that doesn't change the fact that in the beginning, you have to go find models, you have to make a traffic source, yada, yada. So even in the beginning, no matter which business you're in, you're always going through hardship in the beginning. So no matter which boat or vehicle that you pick, you're always gonna go through hardship. Okay, Amazon FBA, same thing, find, your, find the winning product. You have to lose money sometimes. Trading, you're losing money sometimes if you're learning. Crypto, you're losing money sometimes, okay? You're making bad trades, you're making bad calls and what, what not. You're investing in the wrong coins. Everyone in business goes through hardship. So for you guys in setting and sales, I'm talking to specifically, who's complaining about the lack of results that you're getting in the beginning, that's, you cut it out, okay? It's not gonna help you. And it doesn't mean that 
it doesn't work. It doesn't mean that setting in sales is, doesn't work. All these business models work. It's just you have to make it work out, okay? You gotta pick something and stick through it, all right? You complaining and sitting there that you're not making, you're making breadcrumbs of commission that you can't land your first gig. Maybe you should look at, look at the things, start with the things that maybe you are doing wrong. Is your profile not set up right? How much volume did you do? Did you actually reach out to, did you actually hit the adequate amount of volume to business owners? Did you, is, how's your outreach message? Is that any good? Is it copy paste? Do you, do you think a business owner would go and read that or they'd leave you unread? So you gotta start asking yourself these questions. It all starts with taking personal responsibility because I know in my situation, when I started out, even if I got a position, there'd be a ton of people leaving me unread and I wouldn't book as many, let's say there's a week that I didn't book as many meetings. Okay, why didn't I book as many meetings? Was it a case of the lead flow? Was it a case of me being too pushy in the conversation? Was it me handling a certain objection wrong? Was it me just breaking rapport with certain with a large amount of, uh, of my prospects that same week because I was in a bad mood? I don't know. Whatever it was, I had to find out and fix it for myself. Otherwise, it's going to take a hit on, on my income okay, and my commissions. So every business model works. Everyone goes through hardship in every business model. It doesn't matter the industry. We could even take out like things outside of online business. We can take brick and mortar businesses. We can take people in the shipping industry, the mining industry, the construction industry. Everyone's going through, everyone goes through hardships. You're no different. So stop complaining, put in the work, take responsibility and ownership, figure out why you're not getting the results that you want, reverse engineer it, go through, you know, ask for help, go through videos like this, get a mentor, get in groups that, of people that can genuinely help you out. Like I have those two things, link in the description. Just do what you can to fix the problems that you're currently facing, find out why as best as you can and tweak it. And then just keep going on over a long, excuse me, over a long period of time, over a long enough time frame, you're gonna get the results that you want, okay? So this is my message to you guys who are complaining about your lack of results in the beginning. It's completely normal, everyone goes through it and just stick to it, okay? You're no different than the rest. So don't feel like that. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you do want to get into remote setting and remote sales, link in the description, book in a call. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.